Welcome everybody to another video and we are back with another weekly trade recap. In this series I go over the best trades that I've done in the past week and why I did each trade. The past couple weeks have been insane as I've done so many big trades for so many big items such as Dominus Rex, Dominus Messer, and Dominus Vespertilio. And all of these big trades will all be in this video. So in my opinion this is the best trade recap so far because there's so many cool big trades. Anyways, let's get right into this week's trade highlights. Starting things off, we have a pretty old trade here. This is from 17 days ago, but it has been a while since I've done a trade recap, so I want to go over still the biggest trades that I've done since the past trade recap. But this trade, as you can see, has aged perfectly. Uh, this was actually only a 2k overpay at the time, and now it is a 108k win after 17 days, which is crazy. And basically, I did the Valkyrie Helm and the Green Queen of the Night for the Tattletail. And as you can see, this trade has become very, very good. And the Tattletail gets over 100k overpays now, which this is basically 200k profit from getting this trade. And uh, basically, just an amazing trade over time and uh, a very good win to start. The second trade highlight is an upgrade into the Clockwork Headphones, and this is also a fairly older trade from 14 days ago, but I gave the Eyes of Crimson Wrath, the Valkyrie Helm, the Super Dupa Flycap, for the Clockwork Headphones, the Snow Queen Smile, and the Friday the 13th Top Hat. So at the time of completing this trade, it was about a 75k overpay on the Clockwork Headphones, which at the time Clockwork Headphones was really good, and it's risen a ton since, and now it's actually a 107k win for me, which actually this trade is not even good for me anymore, but it really didn't matter because I just used this for an upgrade, but uh, the Clockwork Headphones are now terrible, and the Eyes of Crimson Wrath are now amazing, but uh, at the time I would consider this a win, because I was able to get the Clockwork Headphones for very cheap, and uh, got myself a nice upgrade, which I used the Clockwork Headphones later on for a trade that is very important. So I would say overall this is another win in our trades. The next trade is going to be an upgrade into the Frozen Horns, and I gave two Valks, the Oven Monster, and the Blue Wistful Wink. So this trade at the time was a 50k overpay, and now it's a 50k win for me. And uh, overall just another trade that aged very well, and this was from 14 days ago. And uh, yeah, Frozen Horns have been doing really good, Valk has not been doing good, it's been dropping because Deflation is here. And uh, yeah, just a nice trade that aged very well, and a very good upgrade as well. And here we go with the first big big trade of the video, and this is a trade for the Dominus Vespertilio, and I gave the Poison Horns and 3 Valkyrie Helms, and at the time I believe this was a 160-150k overpay, it was a pretty big overpay at the time, and now the uh, Valks have been dropping, Poison did raise, and then a Vesp also rose, uh, but overall just a nice trade overall, uh, got myself a nice upgrade into the Vesp, the Vesp was still going very strong, still very good, and uh, overall another trade that aged very well from 13 days ago, and uh, I used this also for another big trade which you'll see later on. The next trade highlight is going to be an upgrade into the Mag Inspectors, and I gave the Blue Clockwork Headphones, 2 Purple Queen of the Knights, and the Scissors. Now at the time this was a 40k overpay, and now it's a 35k overpay, and uh, I believe all these items have been continuing to raise since I did this trade, and also the mags just rose 50k, so overall it was a nice trade at the time, and uh, it's now even better because the mags have become really really good. Uh, this time of the year is really good for rares, so when I was offered the mags I decided it would be good to get them, because I knew that they were going to be better over time, and I was exactly right because they're now getting over 150k overpays, which is way better than what I gave, and uh, I can make some easy like over 100k profit from this trade, and overall just a nice upgrade into a rare that I plan to hold for a while just to make a lot of profit. Now this next trade is a massive deal for the yum face, and basically what I did here is I massed all of my smalls under 100k into the yum face. Now this was a massive trade as you can see, lots of different trades. So starting off I gave 4 BTHs, and then I gave some more smalls, and I'll just kind of go through, you can just see them as, as you wish. But yeah, all these items, basically everything I owned that was under 100k, I gave for the yum. And uh, overall the reason I did this is because it was just a nice upgrade, a nice way for me to get yum pretty fast and get upgrades very fast. And uh, I believe it was about a 105k overpay, and uh, I guess the biggest item was the blue clockwork headphones that you saw earlier. And um, yeah, basically just did this because I wanted to upgrade into a big item fast. And uh, this helped me a lot, and I was able to get the yum for a 105k overpay with about, I believe, 30 items. 
The next trade highlight is going to be an upgrade into the Clockwork headphones, and I gave the Poison Horns and three Blue Clockwork headphones. So this trade was about a 100k overpay at the time, and now it's a 60k overpay, and the Clockwork headphones rose 60 and then dropped 40, and now they're just like really bad, but this was nine days ago that I did this trade. It was actually, I would consider it a win at the time. And uh, yeah, basically just use this for another upgrade. And uh, yeah, a lot of these trades were just used for upgrades for trades later on for the main two big trades, which are coming up very soon. And here we go with the first massive trade of the video, and this is going to be an upgrade into the Dominus Rex. And I gave two Clockwork headphones, the Dominus Prefectus, and the Frozen Horns. Now at the time I believe this was a 590k overpay on the Dominus Rex, and now it's a 490k overpay because all these items did raise, but the Dominus Rex also rose 200k. And uh, now this is a massive win. The Dominus Rex just in four days has become even better. It like keeps getting stronger every single day. It's it's crazy. And uh, I I got rid of the Clockwork headphones that are now bad. And um, this all this stuff is like inflated. So that's kind of why I had to overpay so much is because all this stuff has been inflated from inflation. And uh, now I'm basically cashing in that profit from raises, and I'm getting myself a big here, which is the Dominus Rex. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this trade. I plan on keeping Rex for a while just because I like Rex and also this was a massive win and uh, I can easily make a ton of profit off of this one and a ton of profit off the next trade I'm about to show you. And because Dominus Rex was not enough, you already know I had to get that Dominus Messer and I gave the Poison Horns, the Dominus Vespertilio, the Clockwork Headphones and the Yum. And this at the time was a 570k overpay with the Vesp and uh, very happy about this trade as well. Also has became a massive win in just 3 days. The Messer also rose 200k, they actually both rose just this morning and um, yeah very happy about both of these trades. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a lot of profit, a lot of profit off these. As I said in the Rex trade, I am also just basically cashing in that profit from raises in this trade as well, and uh, getting myself the Dominus Messer, which I also plan to keep the Messer for a while, because both Rex and Messer are like two dream items of mine, and to have both of them at the same time is amazing. And uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna be good for a while, so I just plan to keep them and uh, see what happens with Dominus Rex and Dominus Messer. And the final trade highlight is going to be this trade for the Royal Agate Egg of Beautiful Dreams. Now this is definitely the most probably weird trade I've ever done or item that I've traded for. And uh, I basically traded for a 300k value egg. Like that is very weird. This is the most expensive egg on Roblox and uh, the second rarest egg. There's only 8 premium copies of this egg and I gave a 51k overpay, it was actually a double trade as well, so I gave the super super happy face, the blue clockwork headphones, the super fly cap, and the neon green beautiful hair, and then in the second trade, I gave the blue goof, the green bended top hat, and the graduation cap, so in total, as I said, a 51k overpay, and I'm very happy about this trade because this is a rare that I got, and rares are very good at this time, so I figured I would get rid of my demand that is dropping, get myself a rare for pretty cheap, and uh, I'm gonna ride with the Royal Legate Egg and, and see what happens with this item. So that is this week's trade recap, and let me know in the comment section down below which trade you thought was the best. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Like the video if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly trade recaps. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!